everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, so guys, we're just going to do a super quick, quick, quick intro. Um, if you guys are interested in crystals to help clear the chakras, anxiety, depression, you can visit Kim K Crystals. Um, the link for her website is below, and she also does Facebook Lives a couple times a week, which are really awesome. All that info is below. Recommended readers are also below. Um... We're going to be starting the uh, giveaways again, okay? So um, I had to stop that for a couple months, but we're going to be starting up again. So the winners will be announced at the beginning of the month, okay? So be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, in the description box below, you're going to see a list of everything that I give away every month. And all you have to do is go to the comment section and hashtag what you would like to win, okay? Um, and winners will be announced uh, at the beginning of every month. Um what else do I want to tell you guys? Um, for uh, live readings with me or video readings with me, so I will be going on live and doing uh, live question readings um, at least a few times a week. Uh, or you can book a reading with me through my website, which is listed below, okay? Um, and last but not least, guys, when leaving a comment, um, if you have something negative that you would like to say about the reading, you are more than welcome to drop a comment. Um, just please be aware that as a reader, it doesn't really affect me because, you know, I clear my energy and ground all day long. Um, but there are plenty of people that this reading will resonate with, so please try to not disregard or disrespect the people that are hurting. Um, you know, we are a family here and we try to be kind to one another. So if the reading doesn't resonate with you, um, you know, try to be understanding for the people that it does resonate with. Uh, last but not, well, I already said last but not least. <laughs> um, Guys, these uh, readings could be energy in or around you. So this could be something you're going through, something your person's going through, um, or it could be, you know, something that a close friend or family member is going through. Um, this could also be, uh, you know, it is intended to be love, but this could also be for a friend or family member, okay? It could be, you know, anybody that you care about, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with your reading, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, so, my loves, if you would like to follow me on Facebook, uh, not Facebook, TikTok, the link is below. Um, so, Sag, let's go ahead and start with some uh, channeled messages, okay? So, Sag, I... I was picking up on something and I don't know if it's a new situation or an old situation. So let me give you two different sides to this story. So it's either somebody here was attempting to pursue something new and that decision did not work out. And now because that new situation isn't working out, someone here may be starting to miss somebody from the past but they don't know if this person misses them back are you following me okay so sag let's just say you left a relationship you wanted to go pursue something new nothing is happening with that new relationship and now you're starting to miss the ex but you're wondering does my ex miss me back okay now this could be vice versa now this could also be an indication of you know somebody coming in um you know, with an apology and it didn't work out. It, there was just the energy of something isn't working out here, okay? So it could have been maybe an ex or somebody coming back with an apology and it's not working out here, okay? And someone here just isn't sure, you know, how the other person feels anymore, okay? So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and pull some cards here. Um, signs that I picked up on. Uh, I felt a strong Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, okay? Um, air and air and earth, okay? So let's see here. So we've got the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This may be someone that you were married to, Sag, or it could be somebody that you had a very strong soul tie with. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Sagittarians. We've got the Hermit in the Reverse, Virgo, Energy. And we have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. 
tell me about Sagittarius, please? The world card in the reverse and the fool card in the reverse. So, Sag, I feel here... Yeah, I feel like someone got their ego hurt. I'm not going to lie. I feel like with the Queen of Cups and the Hierophant, someone here started to fall in love. I feel like someone here was starting to fall in love. They were starting to catch feelings. And someone here thought that there was a connection that was more committed than it was actually was. Okay. Um, and then I feel that with the Page of Cups and the Hierophant in the reverse, um, someone here comes to find out that it was nothing but empty promises because this person has just disappeared. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's nothing to even think about anymore, to analyze anymore. I feel like someone here is non-responsive, okay? Um, with the world card in the reverse and the fool card in the reverse, I feel like someone here is wondering if something is really over, but they're too scared to take that risk. We've got the six of wands, the queen of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here, and the four of swords. I feel that I feel like this Queen of Swords energy is feeling a little jaded right now um, because they were so positive that they were that something here was going to go really well. And I feel like someone here, it, it didn't go the way it, it didn't go as expected. OK, and now with the Four of Swords energy, someone here is a little butt hurt and wanting to come back. Um, Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I feel like someone wants to come in. They want to apologize. They want to reconcile. Okay, they want to reconcile. But with the Seven of Wands, they're stopping themselves because with the Star card and the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords, okay, um, I feel like someone here is maybe worried that it's going to become public that they went towards a third party and you know what I'm saying, you know, I feel like someone here is worried about it being exposed. Do you see what I'm saying? With the Wheel of Fortune, it's because it's kind of like, I hate to say it, but it's kind of like someone maybe got a little bit of what they deserved because they left a connection to go pursue a third party thinking the grass was greener and they got kicked in the butt and now they're, you know what I'm saying, coming home with their tail between their legs. And I feel like someone has a little bit of a fear that this is going to become public. Like they don't want anyone to find out about this. So... I feel like we're dealing with someone here that wants to come back, that wants to apologize, that wants to um, reconcile, but what's stopping them is that they don't want anyone to find out what happened after the breakup, okay? So let's see what's happening here. Let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, tell me about Sagittarius, please. Tell me about the Hierophant, please. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So you see, Sag, one person here was ready for high levels of commitment and the other person did not feel the same way at all. Queen of Cups under the deck again. One person was catching feelings and the other person was like, no. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Someone here was ready to start a life with somebody. Okay. Someone here was ready to start a life with somebody, but with the Ace of Cups and this Five of Cups, someone here was sorely disappointed and let down by this new love interest. Okay. Um, I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles and the Lover's card, I feel like someone here may be in a relationship, but it's one of those relationships where you stay over there and live in your house and be independent and work your job and do what you got to do. And I'm going to be over here. Do you see what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I feel that, you know, someone here was expecting something a little bit more traditional and it didn't turn out that way. Tell me about the hermit in the reverse. We've got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Someone stopped coming forward um, with the love and the romance and the sweetness. And I feel like with the Unknown card and the Page of Cups, someone here is like, well, I, I thought you said this and I thought you said that and I didn't realize that. You know what I'm saying? Because we've got the Page of Cups here too. Tell me about the Page of Cups, please. Um, King of Cups in the reverse. This is someone that may have been talking when they were drunk or or this is someone that was being emotionally manipulative or someone that just didn't really care at all. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, 
it's just interesting though we've got the queen of cups and the king of cups here so i do feel like this was a karmic situation such i hate to say it okay so i don't know if this is you learning your lesson or your person learning their lesson but someone here is getting a little scooch in the booty <laughs> okay someone here is getting a little being taught a little lesson okay tell me about the world card in the reverse someone's being humbled is what's happening the wheel of fortune in the reverse so now what's happening is someone is wondering hmm i wonder if it's really over between me and that person because things didn't go the way i expected them to tells me tell me about the full card in the reverse the empress aries taurus libra cancerian energy someone here um, is afraid to take that risk to reach out and find out because with the empress they want to appear you know they don't want to be knocked off of their high horse okay they they still want to appear proud and upright and yeah i'm doing fine and you know yeah i'm still with that person and do you see what i'm saying like tell me about the six of wands someone here has a lot of pride and ego the devil yep uh, Capricorn energy. Someone has a lot of pride and a lot of ego. Yeah, a lot of pride and a lot of ego. But I feel that... Yeah, see? Okay, so look. Eight of Swords and the Two of Wands. Someone here had a future stuck in their head, okay? Queen of Wands. Now, Sag, that could be you, you know what I'm saying? Or it could be that someone here was just very confident, super confident about this future. The Hierophant here. Someone here thought that there was going to be marriage, long-term stability. Someone here was so confident, okay? But with the Two of Swords and the Five of Wands, I feel like someone got blocked real quick. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Five of Wands, all hell broke loose. Like, this is you know, a fight, drama, jealousy, competition, because with the Knight of Wands, someone's like, I'm not ready to settle down. I'm talking to other people. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not settling down with you. You know what I'm saying? Leo Sagittarius energy. And now with the page of pentacles, the judgment card and the sun card, now that someone has gained this enlightenment, they want to come back and ask for a second chance. So Sag, someone here is really in their ego because they got butt hurt. They got burnt. They got burnt. Um, but they don't want people to know. Tell me about the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Tell me about the Four of Swords and the Three of Swords. I feel that someone here has, has learned their lesson to slow down. When they date, they've learned their lesson to protect themselves, to slow down, you know what I'm saying, to not jump into anything too quickly because... You know, it's a mess out here. You know what I'm saying? It's a mess out here. Yeah, I, I feel like someone here has learned their lesson. So I'm not sure if there's actually going to be an apology, Sag, forthcoming to this past person. But someone is thinking about it. They're thinking, I wonder if this person misses me too. Because, you know, they just got hurt, right? With the Hanged Man, the Nine of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Four of Cups, and the Five of Swords. I feel here that someone has learned their lesson. They've learned to wait to protect themselves because with the four of wands and the four of cups i feel like um i feel like someone's hitting sitting home they're lonely someone here truly wants um a partnership and it's making them a little vulnerable okay it's making them a little vulnerable and with the moon card and the five of swords um i feel that I feel that people can intuitively pick up on the weakness and it's very easy to play mind games, okay? Someone here is very vulnerable right now. Three of Swords and the Four of Swords, they're hurting pretty bad. So Sag, I don't know if this is you or your person, but someone here is very vulnerable right now, okay? And they're, they're just learning their lesson to take it slow when it comes down to dating. Um, Okay, so yeah, just just take it slow. I, I don't know if there's going to actually be, I don't really see communication or anything like that happening between you and this ex. I don't see them coming forward. I don't see you going forward due to pride reasons. Um, but someone is thinking about it. They are thinking about the past and that's because they got scorned or hurt by this new person. All right. I love you guys and take care. Bye.